we're going to cover SDRs and GQRX. So ScienceDirect.com defines software-defined radios or SDR systems as a radio communication system which uses software for the modulation and demodulation of radio signals. GQRX is an open source software-defined radio receiver. So now let's test the radio. Uh, you can easily test it with another handset, but uh, I did want to cover some SDR in this as well just a little bit. We're going to be using a, an RTL SDR. This is going to be using the RTL 2832U driver. And this one, relatively cheap. This is going to be a receive-only device, so this one cannot transmit. If you did want to transmit, you can use something like the Hack RF. The Hack RF is a half duplex, which means it can only transmit or receive. It cannot do both at the same time, but it's still a, a great device for pretty much anything you need. If you want something a little bit better, you can actually use something like the Blade RF. You have, uh, what was it, Lime SDR. And if you want an even better uh, SDR, you can use one from uh, other places. Uh, for example, there's a, a pretty good organization called Edis, and they sell some uh, pretty high-quality SDRs or commercial-grade SDRs. But uh, the price gets a little bit uh, up there. It all depends on what you want to do. So in this instance, I already have it plugged in. So if you go to Devices, USB, just make sure that it's uh, being seen on the system again. And of course down here, just make sure that that's still checked. So now, because in devices we do see the, um, the RTU or the RTL device, I'm going to go ahead and go to, up to Linux menu, and then down to SIGINT. Let's go to SIGINT, go to SDR software, and we're going to be using GQRX SDR. These cheaper devices do, they're not as sensitive as some of the better devices, or the more expensive ones. So uh, there could be a possibility that uh, we might not be able to get the, uh, uh, the good signal. Uh, we might have to play around with, with the offset over here. But uh, the frequency that I did want to play with, this is going to be in the... 462 range, uh, so it's going to be 462, 562. So here we're just going to test it, make sure everything's good. So we're there, narrow, FM, that's good. Um, so let's just see if we can actually see, just make sure that the card's still there. The card's good, the 0001 driver, hit OK, and then go into play. So now this is listening for uh, communications. So I'm going to hit the, uh, the quick talk button, see if anything goes. does look like it does. But what we're seeing here is probably in this range. This is probably where we're actually communicating. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, give a quick test. This is a test. Okay, it did not go through. Let's try again the 462, 562. Gonna press talk again. So we see a spike a little bit to the left hand side. So we're actually gonna move this over just a touch. And then see if we can. Let's try it one more time. Testing. Okay, so if you see on the left hand side, there's a little bit uh, variation a little bit further to the left. So we'll try it one more time again. Testing. 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 One, two, three, testing. So we, we still see the spike right here. So even though this is not the, the 562, we're going to see if this works. Okay. So that looks like we did get the right frequency. I'm going to step away for just a second and then we're going to try the audio again. Okay, so that does show that we were able to hear the radio. Uh, if we play around with the speakers a little bit, make it a little bit more clear uh, with the squelch. By default, it's negative uh, 150. I did pop it down to just 50 to make it a little bit easier on the, the audio on this video or on this presentation session. 
But all in all, we are able to see the handset and it is working good. Now let's take a look at some FM radio stations with a GQRX. So right now I'm gonna go to one that's in the geographic area. So I'm gonna do 104.7. And so we can actually hear it pretty well. We need to move the antenna a little bit. But outside that, it does come in pretty good. Granted, what's playing right now is kind of weird. Sounds like a lot of yelling, but still, GQRX is good to go.